this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I am literally buried alive. My husband even said, let me take a picture because I can't find my wife. I'm going to turn the camera. We got stuff over here. We got stuff over here. Yes, there's cherry cokes hiding up there. <laughs> They're all empty. That's what I do behind the scenes. But I am literally buried alive and guess what I'm buried with? drill and diamond storage and that is what this video is all about so stay tuned i can't wait to explore it with you and help unbury me from this quicksand of storage storage and more storage so i'll see you in just a minute All right, let's get down and dirty with drill or diamond storage, whatever you like to call it. I wanna take you through all the different places that I have storage and I will insert a few clips because I have four drawers of diamond drills that um, I didn't wanna take all the drills out. So I wanted to show you how I store things. Some of it I'm really proud of, some of it needs more work, but this is all about stashing Sunday X, I mean stashing Monday <laughs> for this week. So we all need a little bit of flexibility, so thank you so much. So the first thing is these metal containers. Um, I use them to store projects. These are mostly those HUA cans that I purchased a long time ago. I didn't know where to put them. They're long-term storage, like I don't know if I'm gonna get to them. So these are just kind of packs of drills. The reason they're in here is because they have the little number on it that I can match up to the canvas and then therefore I know that they're here. Okay. And then the next storage was when I first, this little box, which sits right up here with its mate. These, uh, this is where my baggies are. Here's some baggies right here with drills, but I put have my bag storage in here. And then I used to use these condiment cups. Now stick with me um, on Tipsy Tuesday. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of some of these storage and tips and why I use things, why I don't use things. Right now I'm just going through what I have in general. So these condiment cups are what I used after I used the plastic baggies. So for instance, these are baggies, and then there's the condiment cups, right? And so we're gonna talk about that on Tuesday, but that's in here. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna put these two big things away so that I can come back and go through what I use now and what's current. This is old uh, diamond painting style, and it just kind of sits there until I use it up, and then I, I'm so excited about the new stuff that I use. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is this big pile I have over here. This is the Elizabeth Ward Doris. Uh, I really like this. It comes either in an 80 pack or it comes in a 45 pack that you can use with different sizes. And this is what I use for long-term storage. As you can see, I have a couple I need to put away. I do have some empties right here because I'm using them on my HUA can. I'm using some of my long-term storage because I know it doesn't have tags on it, so I'm replacing what they had sent me. So I'm trying to find, so like here, these are the colors I need to add, but you can see here's a bigger one in here. So I just kind of flip flop based on how many colors I have. So like here's a bigger one, here's a bigger one. This is one I used a lot of inside for the Hua can that um, had a lot of tags. So I used most of that color up. So I'll be talking about this more on Tuesday for Tipsy Tuesday, but this is my long-term storage for both square and round. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have one in my drawer that's 10 and I still need more, but I haven't purchased more because I, I'm still debating, is this really where I wanna go with long-term storage? Right now it's working for me. 
Uh, do I even want long-term storage forever? What I like about these is if I decide, no, don't want long-term storage, I can use these to kit up different diamond paintings down the road as well. And so that's, I, <laughs> um, I used to use consumercrafts.com. However, I have removed the link because I realized they closed as of June 12th. And so now I need to really be careful of where I purchase and use the Michaels 60% off or Joanne's 60% off to purchase these because in store, regular price, they're like $40. And even at 40% off, it's a little much um, because if you think about it, 10 times four, that would be like $400 worth of storage right here, but I did not buy it for that full price. So I'm gonna put these away because again, they go right back here so I can unbury myself and I will be right back. Now I'm really excited because we're going to get into what I really use when I'm diamond painting. When I'm sitting down with you guys, we're doing our lives, we're doing our whipping chats, or drill with means, what does Jen use? And so I wanna show you my stash. The first, I wanna thank Abra. Abra's amazing. She keeps Stephanie and I in line, Wolfpack, to make sure we don't overbuy and that we stay in the good graces of our water, um, I almost said water wallets uh, and I was writing my book which is being released very shortly. I actually have a coupon that I'm going to be putting in a future uh, video so make sure you're watching for that to get a coupon, really good coupon for you guys to check out. But I needed to um, use the lockables and see how they worked and I didn't have any and I needed to use them for my book and so I told Abra that, um, you know, I would, I would send her a book for free if she, um, she did not want to use these lockables. They weren't something that she wanted to use. And so I have two sets of them. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited uh, to be able to try this on one of my big paintings coming up and see how I like it. So I'm going to keep these here. Okay. So then I also have these little round guys right here. These are the ones that Diamond Art Club sells. You can also get them on AliExpress and Amazon. They're really little though. They fit one bag of 200 basically in them. I use these for my snack sizes, my smaller ones. So when I did I Love Art Shop, I used it for this because it was a smaller one. And let's see, I have them labeled. This also was my mandolin, my teal mandolin, if you guys watched me do that, or mandala. I also kitted up a Diamond Art Club in here, a snack size one, so this is ready to go. Can't wait to start it. And then I have an empty one. It was to get free shipping. I needed to spend like a certain amount of money, so I threw this on because it was going to be the same price as the shipping, basically. And so I thought, hey, I'll just get this free because I'm paying this, but I'm getting free shipping. Or I didn't get this and I had to pay shipping. So I kind of like wagered with myself. But these are good for snack size. I like that you can screw um, the lids on and off. Another good one for snack size are these 20. Oh, and these are 30. They have 30 in them. These are kind of cool. I have one, two, three, four. I have four of them. Um, they are where these cylinder ones are individual. These are lined together. So they don't come apart, but you have four in a row. It fits about the same as the cylinder ones, and it's good for a snack size. Um, and I have four of them. This is what I used for, what was it? Uh, the pink raspberry. I used that for this. I also used for my Hua Can um, Lighthouse, back and forth Lighthouse. So that's, that's what I used for those. Then I saw that they were selling this, which is the same thing, except it's two in one container. And I have two of these, I have one upstairs, but you open it and it's still the four pack, 
But instead of 28, you have double. So what is that? Four, 56 are in here, which is nice if you have more than 28 colors or if you want to double up on a color because they are smaller. But yet this is still really handy to go back and forth with if you're out and about. Um, these I got lucky. Um, they were selling them on Amazon. You can get them at Michael's, different places like that. Normally they're 10 or $15, depending on where you go. But Amazon was doing like one of their flash sales. So I got them for $5, which is really cool. I have four of these, but I gave two to my daughter. But I use these for my stickers. Um, let's see here. Because the stickers don't have DMC numbers, these are really nice to have for stickers. And you unscrew this and then you can get to that color. I did do a diamond painting, a whole one, with one of these. However, it was, it, it kind of squeaks when you open it and it, it feels weird. You also can't fit a lot in and then sometimes I would spill the labeling's a little bit difficult if I get something out of order, but it works really well for my stickers, maybe your bookmarks, maybe your glasses holder, different things like that that are smaller projects, your lights, those kind of things, special drills, rhinestones, and I really enjoy using them here because then I can just color code. These don't go in my long-term storage. I just kind of color code them. And I have two of them, and my daughter has two. All right, so I'm going to put these away, and then I'm going to get <laughs> into the next one. I'll be right back. I feel like I can breathe again. There's room around me. My husband can see me, but I still have a tower. I actually have a two tower. They're the twin towers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Because they're usually tucked away in this cubby hole, it's, uh, guys, seriously, uh, <laughs> I should need more storage, but I do. Okay, so these are Harbor Freights. For those of you who are in the United States, Harbor Freights can ship to you, and there's Harbor Freights all over the country. There are our Canadian brothers and sisters do have a hard time getting them because they don't have Harbor Freight. In Canada, I know our Australians, uh, I've offered to send Harbor Freight to them, but the shipping is just so high and mighty uh, with customs and everything. But these are Harbor Freights. And Harbor Freight is a, what would you call it? Like a, my mind is blank right now. Like a home, it's not like a Home Depot, but it's, it's a tool store. Thank you. My husband's helping me. <laughs> but basically, let me show you one that's not open. There's my arm. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is how they come in plastic. And it's 25 piece because they're counting the piece that all the little guys are in. But you get 24. What I really like about these is they hold a lot of drills. They also have a flip tab so that the it's not going to open without you wanting it to open. And many people thought, okay, I don't know how this is going to be, but look, this is already yellowing because I've used this for two years and I've undone and done and undone and done and they don't, they're still great. And the fact when I purchased these two years ago, I was able to use the 20% off coupon. It was like $3.70. They've raised the price now, which is fine. I know inflation, but with the coupon, you can get them for about $5 for this, okay? And it's worth it. You'll be able to use it for dozens and dozens of diamond paintings. I like, there's 24 in here. We're gonna go through tips on how I label, how I store them in here, how you can get 27 in here if you have a larger diamond painting. So I have, cause it's stashing Sunday, AK Monday. I have one, two, three new ones I have not even opened. Potential giveaways or keep. I have one, two, three, and doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Oh, nope, just three emptied. So I have six total that don't have anything in it. And then I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 that are kitted up. For instance, this one, I call it Winter Girl 1 and Winter Girl 2 because it had like 52 colors. And so I used two of these and then I used baggies for a couple of the colors that didn't fit. So they're all together. Um, this is my Rainbow Elephant. And I just label on the side because how I store them is back here in my cubby. And then that way I can see what have I kitted up in here. And then I put the, if it comes with an inventory sheet, I put that in there. Or if it comes with a sticker like Diamond Art Club, let me pull one out. Then I would put it inside here. Like so. And then I know what these drills belong to. Okay. Yeah, so I have, let me see what else I have. This I need to put away. I have my sunflower you guys are watching me work on. I have my dreamer design. Uh, let's see here. I have this blue. Oh, I have my princess dragon that I've been working on. And I have a diamond art club, but I forget which diamond art club I have in here. And then I have two that I need to um, de-kit, which means take down or put away into long-term storage from Elizabeth. I still have a, um, two of those. So yeah, that is my drill storage. There are lots of other storage um, things out there. I have not purchased them. I have chosen to fall in love with something I do. There's other storage out there that I watch other people try and I think, oh, do I want that? Do I not? No, I'm still really happy with my Harbor Freight and how I use things. So I hope you like this video with Stashing Sunday and how I store drills. Uh, please keep in mind that tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, Tipsy Tuesday, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of the different storage units that I have shown you today. I'm gonna show you how I label them. Some tips on, for instance, where to label so that you're not driving yourself crazy for the couple weeks or the couple months that you're working on a diamond painting. And I can't wait to see you. So thank you so much for helping uncover me and helping me not be buried alive. And I'm so excited to be part of your world. Thank you for being part of mine. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.